Jon Stewart told Republicans he understands why they're disappointed. Monday was the Daily Show host's first episode since President Joe Biden dropped out of the race and endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to replace him as the Democratic nominee in the election against former President Donald Trump. The comedian played clips of conservative commentators, politicians, and wonks calling it a coup for the Democrats to switch candidates at this point. Although the Democrats have yet to hold their formal nominating convention and Biden remains president. But you know what? Stewart said. I do understand that they're upset. It makes sense. So how about we do this, out of fairness? I'm a fair person. You can replace your old guy too. Biden, 81, left the race July 21st after multiple politicians in his own party questioned his health and expressed concern about his frailness due to age and his ability to win the White House again in November. Trump, who was officially named his party's nominee earlier this month, is 78. Harris is 59. Stewart also joked that Trump responded to Harris stepping into the top spot on her party's ballot in the Trumpiest way possible. He showed a social media post that Trump made saying the party should be reimbursed for their campaign against Biden. He quipped that Trump is gonna need a new line because the former president said that Harris doesn't like Jewish people. Stewart added, Of course that may ring hollow since Kamala Harris's husband is, let me check my notes, Jewish. The comedian also shot holes through attacks on Harris's gender, race, and qualifications. Of course, there was also a line about the running mate that Trump chose at the Republican National Convention, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, and a couch, because the internet. After showing a clip of someone saying there are three options on the ballot in November, Trump, Biden, or you stay on the couch, Stewart cracked, I think we know which one of those options J.D. Vance would opt for.